everyone. It's our last story time. Yes, this is our last story time. We are on lesson 15, and lesson 15 was the last lesson in our series of lessons before summer. So summer will be upon us next month, and so I hope you have a great summer. But I wanted to finish off with the last superheroes in our superhero storybook. So I have the last three that I would like to read to you. And then this will end our story time until next, well, until next fall. And then we'll be back in Sunday school. But anyway, here's our last superheroes. Oh, hold on a minute. I lost my page. Where was it? I had a special one that I wanted to read to you and I misplaced it. <gasps> Superhero boy. A small boy with a supersized lunch. Thousands of people were near the Sea of Galilee listening to Jesus teaching about living for God. He taught for hours and it was getting late. Finally, one of the disciples came to Jesus and said, Master, you should send these people home to get dinner. It's getting very late and we are far from a town. No, I'm not going to send them away, Jesus said. You give them some food. Well, the disciples were surprised that he would say that. He, he knew they didn't have any food or any money. Even if they did, there was no place to buy food. So where would they get enough food to feed thousands of people? Well, the disciples found a young boy who had brought a sack lunch. He had five small loaves of bread and two fish. He generously offered to share his lunch with Jesus. The disciples told Jesus about the boy's offer, but they didn't see what good five loaves of bread and two fish would do when there were more than 5,000 people to feed. Jesus gladly took the boy's lunch and he thanked God for it. He then began breaking the loaves of bread into pieces and handing it to his disciples. He did the same with the fish. The disciples were amazed that as he broke the bread and fish, there were still more in his hands. Jesus kept handing food to his disciples to pass out to the crowd. More than 5,000 people had all the food they needed for that day. It all started with a young boy sharing what he had. Superhero characteristic. Wow! Imagine your lunch for one turning into a super duper sized lunch for 5,000 people. All this happened because a little boy with a little lunch had a big heart for Jesus and for sharing with others. Superhero tip. A good way to help others and to show your love for God is by sharing what you have with others. He can use your gift no matter how small you think it is. Isn't that true, boys and girls? Yeah. Lesson, let's see who the superhero is now. Oh, I'm getting close to the page I need. Oh, here we go. Superhero Jesus, the greatest, best superhero ever. Many times as Jesus was teaching, he said that God had sent him to do something so extraordinary that it would help the whole world. One evening, Jesus had a special meal with his disciples. Later that night, Jesus asked some of his disciples to go with him to a garden where he wanted to pray. While he was praying, some angry men came and took him away. They took him to their leaders who put him on trial. Those leaders accused Jesus of things he did not do. They called him names, treated him badly, and had him beaten. But Jesus remained silent. A while later on a hill outside of the town, Jesus was put on a cross and died. People from all over came and were sad. 
Jesus' body was taken from the cross and placed in a tomb, closed up by a large stone with soldiers standing guard. Jesus' friends were heartbroken at what they thought was such a terrible end. Three days later, something amazing happened. The stone at the tomb was rolled back, and an angel appeared to tell Jesus' friends that he was not there. Jesus had risen. Soon after, Jesus showed himself to his friends. He was alive. Jesus had defeated death and proved that he was sent by God to give eternal life to anyone who follows him. Jesus has said, God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that whomever believes in him will not die forever, but will have eternal life. Jesus is the hero of heroes. Isn't he, boys and girls? Superhero characteristic. Jesus is the greatest hero the world will ever see. He died on the cross for our sins, and he defeated death when he rose from the dead. What a mighty and awesome God he is. Superhero tip. Putting others first requires giving up things we think we deserve. Jesus put others first so much that he gave his life for everyone so that everyone might have eternal life living with God forever. And you know what, boys and girls? You are special to God. Do you have a favorite Bible superhero? What do you like about your superhero's story? Do you wonder if you could be a superhero like David or Joshua? Well, guess what? You can. You are God's own special superhero. God has, has special work that only you can do. He will give you his superpower to do that work too. Use the courage and strength he gives you to be brave and strong. Use the kind and caring heart he gives you to show others that you care about them and God does too. God gave you a superhero guidebook. It is the Bible. Read it, learn it, and remember that you can also ask God for special help anytime you need it. Do God's work and be a superhero. Take courage and be a man. That was from 1 Kings for, uh, chapter 2, verse 2. Well, well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our superheroes that we got out of our superhero storybook. We read all of them, and I think I even read a couple more than once, but that's okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed our story times each week, and, and I hope you have a great summer and do a lot of fun things and, and enjoy the warm weather. So, boys and girls, remember, God loves you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. I can't say that enough because it's. I just love saying that to you because it's so true. So take time to talk to God. He's always waiting to hear and he's always waiting to help. So, boys and girls, have a great summer. And until we meet again, blessings to you all. Have fun. Bye.